All right, welcome to the garden update. It is uh, just after mid-March. It's March 19th today on a Saturday. I wanted to kind of show everybody and make a little video here about where we're at very, very early on in the gardening season. Um, I have planted a bunch of tomatoes in here. So these are all tomatoes. I think I'm going to start transplanting them. Um, they really need to be transplanted. They haven't been just because I've got all of these others too. And then, so these are marigolds and lady lectures is, is making those marigolds. And then these are broccoli. That's a broccoli. And that's a broccoli. I got, I got, or yeah, two broccolis right here, this broccoli and that broccoli. And I, I did transplant that broccoli and it's doing really well. And then these are tomatoes. I've got a tomato start there. I've got tomato starts there. These are jalapenos. Um, I've already got the jalapeno starts coming. I, this jalapeno hasn't come up. These are tomato starts, tomato starts, tomato, tomato. Um, I've got, so these are all tomatoes as well. Now these are just some other sort of random plants that we have. Um, this one must not have been planted anything yet. So that one I still need to plant, but sort of the rest of these have all been planted. And then over here we have flowers. So these are all different flower starts. MG, I'm not, I think Morning Glory. Oh yeah, Morning Glory, Moon Flowers, Zinnias. These have all started. That's Rosemary and Rosemary. The Rosemary's haven't started. These flowers have. The Pansies haven't started. Pansies haven't started. Pansy, Pansy, Pansy. Um, another Pansy right there. Um, and then the Jalapenos are just barely coming. Um, and then the lavenders haven't started either. We've got lavender and these these we've just moved over here because this gets a lot better direct sun. You can see you can see it's actually getting direct sun right now. The sun is is coming in. This is all getting direct sun, direct sun, direct sun. This stuff is just now moving out of the direct sun. It's been direct sun. It's about noon right now. And so what happens is this is a south facing window and you know, this is where the direct sun, this is still getting direct sun, this is not. So the direct sun is still kind of coming in here, even though we've got plants down here too. Um, some old Christmas plants, lipstick plant, and then a couple of um, big planters, and then that's a avocado, I think. Um, and so anyways, I'm going to do some work. I wanted to show you guys kind of where we're at to start. This is my homemade, homemade planter, starter planter with... Um, paper towel rolls. Those are paper towel rolls and you can plant directly in all of those. Um, I'm going to try to get some more things started. I'm going to get this thing moved out of here and transplanted those into smaller containers so that then I can drop this down and have the, have the lights be very, very close to all of this instead of only being very, very close to this. Um, I'm going to do some more starts and I'm going to get some more starts. So hopefully this will all be planted because now, you know, March 18th, we're now um, getting close to being eight weeks out from last frost here, which is May 15th. Um, so we're eight weeks out. We're eight weeks out from last frost. So that's a good time to start to do starts. Um, so I'm going to try to do some more starts. And then I've actually I've got in my in my other room over there, I've got another light system like this and I've got extra extra bulbs down there so I might try to do another light starting system over there so I've kind of got a lot of work to do just wanted to, this is where we're at though we, we did this a couple weekends ago so the all of this stuff that you're seeing these these starts like these are like a couple of weeks these have been going a couple of weeks and same with these and then some of these new ones are just one week old um some of this stuff is one week old, so we've kind of got some range of, of when we started. Um, I'm going to kind of move some of those plants around too and try to get try to get some really good plants all kind of under this light to get some really good starts going. So that's where we're at, and I'll, I'll let you know as we go along here. So this is the setup I have outside here. We are uh, just filling up some more of these. I'll show you the inside in a second, but what I'm doing is... Um, this is miracle Grow garden soil, vegetable herbs, and that's a little bit different than um, this one, which is potting mix. And so I'm putting this, I'm putting this stuff at the bottom and then potting mix on top and I'm doing 50-50. Um, and just because this, this is kind of, um, it's got more sticks in it and it's got some other stuff like that, whereas this doesn't have sticks in it. 
so kind of like the sticky soil at the bottom and then half half on top um with the potting soil and it's been working really well and let me show you what i've got in here now so i completely got that big one that big piece that was where all of those tomatoes were i had all those tomato starts and i've now transplanted them um, like these are all these are all the transplanted tomatoes. So I transplanted those tomatoes into their individual things put gave some water I lowered down the light. So the light is You know six inches eight inches ten inches off. Frankly, I'd like to go a little bit lower I might I might be able to do that got it on a timer obviously But I could potentially lower that light a little bit frankly I was gonna think about buying another light and hanging it right here for these ones um but I kind of rearranged, I, I rearranged everything. These are all empty ones, ready to plant. These are all ready to plant. And then the ones I'm, the ones I'm doing outside are gonna be coming in ready to plant. These are all ready to plant. Um, these are the flowers that are going. Um, but I'm gonna try to, get, try to get this whole thing covered uh, with ready to plant stuff. And then we're gonna do some more stuff. Cause right now all I've got is three or four kinds of tomatoes and then uh, some jalapenos and broccoli going. And there's the, Two broccolis and then all these marigolds and stuff so um yeah we're coming along and so i don't know i'm, I'm gonna maybe do onions in here potentially do onions in here maybe i don't know still deciding and of course uh my wife is gonna get some of these too but um these big ones are nice we got a bunch of those ready to plant stuff so you can see kind of the direct sunlight this is the kind of the spot that gets the most direct sunlight right here Right there gets a lot of direct sunlight because the rest of this stuff is no longer getting direct sunlight. This stuff gets direct sunlight in the morning. The, the sun comes up like right about there and then this gets direct sunlight and, and so does this. That, but by this time in the afternoon, um, one, two o'clock, you start to only get sun right there. But, um, and frankly, you're still getting some direct sunlight on the floor too, frankly. You know, that's not a bad place to grow stuff right there too. So anyway, um, I'm going to, I'll keep filling this up and I just wanted to show you guys how I'm doing these, how I'm doing these uh, dirt or how I'm doing the dirt in these pots. 50% garden soil with sticks and stuff, 50% really nice gardening soil or uh, potting soil. And yeah, there we are. Okay, we're done in this room, although I could, I could, there's still space for a couple more, um, but I'm pretty much done. We've got... Um, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. We've got thirteen big ones, new ones. We've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, 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 the plants are all transplanted and seem to be, I'm just, I'm curious to see how the tomatoes are going to do with the transplants. Um, hope they do okay. I think I'm going to plant some more tomatoes probably today over here and maybe do some onions over here. We'll see. I'm not sure exactly what I'm going to do. I'm going to wait and wait for the family to get home to see what they want to plant some more of. So, um, figured I'll show you. That's it folks. There's, hope you guys enjoyed this little, uh, spring gardening early start video um I'll, I'll keep making videos about the garden look at these moonflowers really coming along holy cow so cool starting stuff from seeds and then seeing it grow and then these marigolds are doing really well and this tomato hope this this is maybe my best tomato plant so far a blinking tomato right there hopefully it hopefully it comes along and then um I've got some new tomatoes that I haven't that I didn't transplant. Those broccoli seem to be doing okay, and hopefully this uh, hopefully this light gets it going. All right, guys, I figured I'd show you guys a, a garden update too, just because uh, I put so much work into this last uh, fall, and I've got YouTube videos up about that if you guys want to go check out my fall garden prep. But this is now sort of heading into late March. Um, you know less than a month or two out from last frost and starting to plant and it just looks great um i did put a whole bunch of compost a steer manure composted steer manure on here 
Um, and look, and we planted a bunch of bulbs and stuff. Check out, check out that. We got a whole bunch of them, tons of them coming up there, all along the fence here, and then tons of them over here too. Um, you can see them starting to come up. But we got we got a bunch of bulbs in here. But this is going to be hopefully mostly vegetable gardens. I know that my wife wants to plant some flowers and herbs and stuff, which is cool. But for the most part, hopefully it'll be. Um, vegetables but man it's just in great shape um, I'm gonna it's gonna be difficult to try to keep the weeds down on here but I'm gonna try my best um, this is kind of the shady cordon of the garden but we still we got a lot of space out here that's why I'm trying to plant all these plants inside here we're about two week, two months out so do these inside starts here and then in two months I'll be out here planting but figure I'd show you guys what it looks like um, it looks like that compost did a good job over the winter and um, I think it looks great it's ready to plant almost Okay, here, here's the indoor setup. Uh, this is the old woodworking shop and I just, I've got my setup in here and I, I replaced these lights with daylight, 6700K daylight LEDs and I got these two things to raise this stuff up closer. I think I want to get it a little bit closer even. I think I want to be closer to like three inches away. Maybe I'm going to get a little couple of boosters and then I'll just kind of lower it as the plants get bigger, but pretty sweet for uh for an indoor growing setup i would say pretty lucky to have it i feel like wow